Welcome to Pacific Coast Miniatures. For the first ever video on this channel, I've decided to create this simple diorama of a steam locomotive. My name is Mark, and I love to create miniature things. So let's have a look and see what materials we need. So the main element, of course, of the diorama is the steam locomotive, and this is a cheap plastic HO scale 040, which I had used for another project long since gone. Then I also have this display case, which originally housed a couple of Japanese dolls for Girls' Day, and I kind of inherited this when we no longer used it. And then a small piece of HO scale track, and some styrofoam to make a wall. So my plan is to put the track on top of the raised portion and then place a locomotive on there and a bit of simple scenery on the lower portion with a wall dividing the two levels. So the other thing I'll need is just some scenery supplies I have some ballast, I have some earth, and a few various types of turf and bushes. So I'm going to use some kitchen and bath adhesive caulk to attach the track to the top of the race section. And I'm using the caulk mainly because the plastic is a little bit slippery. And I'm worried that re regular glue won't work well. And actually, this is a foreshadow of a problem I have later on when I don't use adhesive caulk. So I'm just spreading it out a little bit with a credit card, an old credit card, and uh, trying to get out the lumps so that it doesn't squeeze up between the ties and make a mess. And I probably should have put this layer a little bit more centered, but this is fine. It's a static display, so I won't see much movement. And then trying to get the track on there centered left to right and also front to back, pressing it into the caulk. And then I'm just going to use some weight overnight to let it dry so it's nice and flat. So next day, take the weights off, track is nicely in place, it's clear adhesive caulk so it's not uh, showing. And then I'm measuring the height of what I need for a wall that's going in front. I'm using the styrofoam to measure out the length, and then I'm going to cut it using a tri-square and a hobby knife. The trick with the hobby knife is just to score light passes through until you get to the bottom. Hot wire cutter would be better, but I don't have one yet. Once cut, I just snapped it out, and let's have a look and see how it fits in to the base. And it's a bit too thick. So what I'm going to do is actually just cut it in half and that should give us the correct thickness. That's better. It's more like it. Now I did cut the wall a little bit higher just to act as a dam for the ballast which I'll be adding next. But before I glue it in place, I am going to 
score in some lines with my hobby knife to simulate individual stones. So I'm just going to mark the width of them and the length and do that scoring fairly lightly. I don't want to go all the way through, of course. So the last step before I actually attach it is to use a couple of shades of gray acrylic paint, just using craft paint to give the wall a coat to make it look like stone or concrete. I'm just using an old makeup sponge I stole from my wife and dabbing it on. Paint was a little bit thick and didn't really go down into the cracks between the stones, so I'm just going to use some isopropyl alcohol and a bit more paint to make a wash that will hopefully go down into the crevices a bit. Using the dark gray paint this time to give it some contrast. Again, I'm going to use the adhesive caulk to attach the wall to the front of the display where the levels change. Just applying a fairly thin bead and then I think I actually use my finger to spread it out a little bit. and. Uh, that should be nice and sticky for the wall to attach to. And I couldn't resist trying out the local on the track to see how it looks. So unfortunately I lost some footage here, but what I did is I put a piece of packing tape all the way around and then added the ballast, sprinkled it on, and now I'm putting some isopropyl alcohol in the ballast to wet it. And then I'm using a mix of water and white glue or PVA glue to actually secure the ballast in place or so I thought. All right, a few weeks later, because I went out of town, uh, time to tear off that tape and see what we've got. And unfortunately, when I started cleaning off some of the overhanging ballast, I noticed that it didn't actually attach that well with the water down glue. So to fix it, I'm going to have to reattach the ballast. So I got out my full strength white glue and a small paintbrush and did the painstaking work of attaching the loose ballast back on. 
And hopefully this time around, it will actually stick. So, with that taken care of, now it's time to focus on that lower front area and put some basic scenery there just so that it looks not so empty. So I'm just taking some brown acrylic paint again and some full strength white glue and I'm going to take a brush, mix it up, and paint it on. The glue will help adhere the scenery that I'm going to be adding, which is mainly going to be turf. It doesn't have to be a perfect job. It's black underneath as well, so that's fine. Okay, so once that's done, I'm just sprinkling on some burnt grass turf from Woodland Scenics. Putting it on fairly heavy, but you'll notice that I leave a few empty spots, which I'm going to use then some blended turf. And that should give us a little bit of variation in the diorama. Again, this is just being done very simply. I may come back later on this diorama and add some static grass. But this is just a quick and simple covering for now to get this done. Next day, just tap off the excess, and I'm going to keep that excess for the next project, of course. Cleaning off some of the edges, the plastic tends to have a bit of static on it. And then the final step is to kind of cover that gap between the wall and the scenic portion. And again, using full strength glue, I'm going to attach some coarser turf, more like bushes or maybe weeds. And just being careful not to put too much glue on, but I'll also probably put some going up the wall a little bit for weeds that are growing up the wall. And just closing up some final holes with some more fine turf. Making sure to attach anything loose so it doesn't flop forward. And I think we can consider this done. Like I said, very simple, nothing fancy. And it's looking good. So I'm pretty happy with how this diorama turned out. And there's still more that I'd like to do like to weather that wall a little bit more and the track and also the steam locomotive itself needs a bit of weathering to make it look well used and as I mentioned I plan to probably put some static grass in front but for now it's perfect for displaying in my office So thanks for watching. I hope you learned some techniques and enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, 
and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.